this today, whether you're uh, watching on a computer or a television or whatever it may be, we're so glad that you're with us. Uh, we have, through this whole pandemic, uh, stayed unified and stayed together. And next week, we're going to resume our in-person uh, worship beginning at 10.15, our regular time. Uh, we will have limited capacity because of social distancing. Uh, all of our members should have received by now a letter with all the protocol uh, for that uh, service and our ongoing services. Uh, so please refer to that. Uh, you can begin to make, we'll need to have reservations and uh, you can begin to do that on Monday and do that through Wednesday of this week. So. Uh, it will be wonderful to see you next week. It will also be wonderful to have you with us uh, in the same way that you have been so faithfully watching and supporting the church. So we just want to uh, alert you to that. Uh, pray for us all as we go through the, the uh, details of this. Uh, it's, not, uh, it's not something we're used to, but it's something we need to do. So uh, God bless you all for your faithfulness and for Continuing to support our church in spirit and in unity and in prayer. Uh, we also need to remember, uh, and also for our friends who did not get our letter, uh, our members got our letter, but the protocol for next week is on our webpage, so please refer to that. We also want to be praying for our nation, especially for our African American communities and the stress and the tension and the concern about justice and equality that they have uh, about our whole country uh, we're all under a lot of stress and uh, we just need to really give this over to the Lord in prayer and in every other way that, that justice and peace may prevail so let us begin our service today with prayer God Today we pray for our nation, for our African American communities particularly, that justice will be equal and subsequently peace will allow us as a nation uh, to thresh out the terrible scourge of present prejudice. God, that the light of your spirit has fallen upon us. The seal of your ownership is on us. You have placed the Holy Spirit in our hearts like tongues of fire. It has renewed and restored. In our rising and our sleeping, in our working and our play, in our joys and in our sorrows, your Spirit's brightness has dispelled the darkness. In our loving and caring, in our touching in our listening, in our thoughts and in our actions. O oh Lord, your spirit has brought life out of death. God, your spirit fell like tongues of fire on the first Pentecost. It filled those that were empty. It empowered those who were weary. God, your spirit fell like tongues of fire. It brought together those that were, who were divided. It reassured those who were afraid. God, your spirit fell like tongues of fire. By its power, we can walk together as one. By its power, we can find strength to share. By your spirit, O oh Lord, guide us and keep us. Your spirit, O oh Lord, fell like tongues of fire. By his power, we can find freedom in loving in each other. And by his power, we can find life in you. Hear our prayers as we pray. Just as Jesus taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. We're now going to ask our wonderful praise team to come forward and share musically with us. <laughs> 